the 70s, up until the 70s, um, in you know, the days of psychoanalysis and Freud and so on, it was thought that a healthy man was 100% masculine, whatever that was supposed to be, and if he had feminine traits, womanly traits, there was something wrong with him. And the other way around, if a woman had masculine traits, there was something wrong with her. She should be 100% feminine. Now we've rewritten that, particularly since some, I'm not really a big fan of research, but this particular piece of research I'm a fan of, which showed that the healthiest people actually had a lot of male and female traits, whichever gender they were. And that really overturned that old model. So now people are thinking, OK, it would be great if I could be 50-50, balanced, split down the middle. If I had my maleness in one hand and my femaleness on the other hand, they would balance exactly. And balance is an interesting concept because it's not only about you know, the weight, it also has to do with, like, can you stand on one leg? Or it also has to do with, is your checkbook balanced? Mm -hmm. And it also has to do with, um, you know, if your system is balanced, then you have homeostasis, which is a good thing if you're healthy. You want everything to kind of stay in, in the uh, right balance. If you're unhealthy, you don't want it to stay there. You want it to come back to its original state. And this is an idea that comes up over and over. In pelvic heart integration, though, we're not so interested in balance, we're interested in harmony between the male and the female, or the yin and the yang. Why? Because let's say I am 50-50 exactly, half male, half female, but my male and my female sides are at war with each other. They do not agree about a lot of things, and the female side wants to go over here, and the male side wants to go over there. Okay, I've got perfect balance, but actually I'm going to fall because I can't do the splits and I can't go anywhere. I can't move forward. I'm too busy being split in opposite directions. So we're more interested in harmony, that the two are dancing together and cooperating and sharing power. If that's not the case, I'm actually way better off if I'm 70-30. At least one side can overpower the other side and we can go off and get something done. And it's that way in relationships as well. And maybe I'll talk more about how this applies to relationships in a minute. But uh, let, me, let me pause and see, are there questions about what I've said so far? In the Chinese symbol for yin and yang, uh, it was, you know, you, the female was, say, large with a small dot. You're kind of contradicting that, are um, Well, in that symbol, uh, see, balance is fine mm -hmm. if there's harmony. And so the symbol, it, it implies harmony, although that's not always brought forward. And that little dot in each circle means that one side will trans the yin will transform into the yang and the yang will transform into the yin.